lovelies it's mela aka the cooler planner babe and this video is going to be my current planner stack setup it's not a voiceover video so you guys are about to deal with all of my random interruptions random bloopers all that good stuff and i'm not sure well i don't think i'm sick i think my allergies just have my throat really jacked up so you'll catch me with my oj here and there and i apologize ahead of time because when my ac kicks in because of where i film it's kind of I guess under the vent so you guys will hear that so before we go forward be sure to like subscribe share hit that notification bell tell a friend and those of you returning as always i appreciate the love and support and did i do that oh oh there we go Ooh. so this is just going to be my current revamped planner stack because as we all know in the planner community there has been i guess we'll say issues with certain companies and how they handled those issues determined what i went forward with with the rest of my year of planning so yeah let's get into it so we are going to start with my mini now my mini is still my homebody planner it is my main mini planner but i do switch out the weeks here and there with undated um mini vertical weeklies and then there is one other that i'm actually going to try out that is a printable from at home with kita shop which is little miss fancy plants although i think she changed it to fancy plants i'm gonna have to check that out but i'll link whatever i have below so here we go still my mini homebody this week i went ahead and just switched it out to the vertical for that week but that is my main planner then for my youtube planner i'm still using the mini stargazer that i normally just keep track of ideas while i'm filming edit uploaded so i can check it off there is something in my classic that i will show you that goes along with this but as far as having it in my mini i stay on track a little bit more because especially well before covid made everybody homebodies you know if i'm out somewhere and i need to just check something or just it's just nice having it here with me then for my regular social media planner i was using the pastel tropics oh i did not do that which was my original social media planner it was a oh well that was before i got it that was a uh, undated but it is a vertical and i liked how it worked out so i went ahead and purchased the wild style mini vertical and that is my current social media planner and this is just making sure i make my posts when i'm supposed to i can't really show you the calendar because did i put it on that one yet i don't think i filled in july but usually on the monthly is where i will keep track of any pr shop giveaways promos whatever is coming up so i can remember to plug them in for the week and post them so usually when i post these spreads they're always going to be um before the pens because there's certain things i can't show ahead of time then my workout section this did start off using the original fitness mini fitness planner it was an undated planner from the happy planner and it was working great 
it was just I needed something where I could journal a little bit more so I decided to go ahead with this oh what is it and my AC is kicking in so you guys might start to hear a weird sound from the bench pushing here but I believe it's hello day or something like that. I don't know I'll link it below but I decided to use this because I had to start doing something a little different where I can actually keep track of certain things with my health. Not there's nothing wrong with me. It's just certain things I want to have notes on, especially if like I'm going to the doctor or something like that. I always track my water. Each of these little droplets is one of these cups that babe got me for my birthday. And I did the calculation and figured out it's a 24 ounce about five of these for the day will give me a gallon of water and of course some days I make it some days I don't some days I do more but that's what each drop on my water trackers mean for me it's one of these cups which is 24 ounces so that is that and then the rest is just notes sticky notes things like that so that is my mini setup the next that I am using is the oh goodness it just lost slipped my mind it's the sunken geo I will always link it below y'all don't mind me but this actually came on clear they were like silver glitter plastic discs y'all I am completely horrible when I say oh I'm opening the thing in my bottle. There we go. When I say I am horrible with plastic discs, I mean horrible. I am I take care of my planners, but I'm still rough on my planners because and if you think I'm lying, by the time I got home with this, mind you I only made like one other stop. But by the time I got home, I had already broken two of the discs. And that was poopy. So, I was going to switch it to metal disc anyway, so that's fine. I actually have these lavender metal discs came off of the 2020 Planner Girl, Glam Girl Planner. I gave away the inserts because I found it on clearance and it was only like 10 bucks for the planner. And I just wanted the disc on the cover and then I gave the insides to... I'm um, not don't remember who but I gave it to somebody else and then these silver metal discs were actually from Joanne when they were having like a huge clearance on metal discs and when I asked the representative at the store he explained that the metal disc is a product that they won't be carrying for Happy Planner anymore this was last year he told me this and since then I really haven't seen metal discs there anymore so I guess it was legit or maybe it's just temporary I don't know so I decided to go alternate between those two colors now this planner is my journaling planner it is a excuse me horizontal planner I don't plan in horizontal planners as far as my main planners, I'm fine with using that mini one for my fitness, but as far as my regular planners, no. So this is going to be my journal. I am actually working on a book with them and my memory isn't the greatest. So this actually helps me keep track of certain things. Like, you know, I can go back and look like, oh, this happened this day. Or whatever and then I can plug it into the book so this section here I actually use to track I'm not sure if I'm in frame let's hope I am I actually use this to track like what I'm feeling what day like yeah you go through multiple feelings but you have like that one main one for the day and I use that but there I love feeling or emotion the monthly I use for whatever challenge writing prompt or just some things I want to do as far as self-care and then my weekly 
Oh, as you can see here, I got it Saturday the 4th. That was my first entry. And I do put a little decoration, but I try not to because the main purpose of this is for me having space to write. I don't write so much that I need a full journal. I just need some space to jot down some things. So that was a couple of my weeks. I'm trying my best to keep track with it. This is the current week. Haven't done that yet. And I pretty much go ahead and just decorate for the whole month and call it a day so that way when I go to that week it's ready for me and I'm good to go so beginning of the month I'm planning to decorate the entire week and call it a day as you can see very minimal because I need the space to write so that is that one so journaling planner and lastly is my classic catch-all my main planner this is actually not a planner cover it is from the wild styled notebook and I went ahead and put and that is a different color even though they all said rose gold huh I went ahead threw it on rose gold metal disc I do know they have the planner with this you know the actual wild styled with the date for one I don't want to do an 18 month planner for my main planner. I did that once before and it was just not the best. I had FOMO issues when other planners came out. So that was the first and last time. It's like, I'm not gonna do it. I did not like the fact also that it had the 2020, the 2020, 2021 on the front. I don't, <clears throat> like that because I may want to go back and use my cover later on for something else or maybe the next year planners I love the inserts but don't love the cover so I always have that option that I can go ahead and pop this on or if I decide to take it back to a notebook I have that so as you can see it is the remainder of my stargazer planner that I'm using for the monthlies. And this is why. I did have, where did you go? Uh, 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 uh. I was using the leftovers from, is it this is your year? I think that's what the planner was. No, not this is your year, it's best year ever. I believe it is an 18 month from 2019 to 2020 hourly planner from happy planner i tried it it was actually leftovers from my daughter's using it for her to keep track of her classes because she needed an hourly where she could keep track of those and after the school year ended she was like she doesn't want anymore she just wants a wall calendar so since she decided that I was like, okay, I'll take the rest of the months and see if I can make them work for me because although I don't like how that other company handled certain situations, I did like their hourly layout. It was the best, thank you, AC. It was the best and most, uh, how can I say it? It was just the best way for me to be more productive in the day. It started, I believe, at six and ended at 10, if I'm correct. And that worked great for me. I still decorated everything, but it was very functional. I got more done in my day. It was a lot better when I had designated times and time frames to complete certain tasks. So that is why I went with the hourly leftovers that my daughter has. Here are the ups and downs of that, but we'll, I'll tell you that as we go. So, the stargazer, here just my word for the year. This is actually a printable insert from At Home with Kita. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna do this. If I'm actually gonna have a section for this or just leave it in here as extra because I can still put down way more ideas on here. 
I cannot fit all that in my mini. So this would be like my main hub for my ideas for videos because I do need to I'm not really changing up my channel much but I do want to have other content on my channel other than just planner videos so we'll see how that goes but I'll figure out if I'm gonna keep that as a section by itself or not and this was my little DIY other fun dates page I made one in mini as well and then I did print off the Happy Planner sticker tracker thing, the little baba, if that's what's called. Just because I wanted to know all the stickers I have and yeah. So here is the tab. I started off with it for July and then I just realized like, no. So July is in here. That's my monthly. There's videos up for these as well. I will link them below. So here it was my first few weeks using this. It was fine. It's just I don't like that they only go. Oh, I didn't check any of that off. I did great. That it only goes from seven to seven. And then you have this box up here. I don't need that. I honestly don't. I actually need more hours in the day. So. Here's what I came up with. Oh, and all of these dashboard thingies and stuff came from, I really need to check off the stuff I paid. I didn't check any of that off. Eh. Yep, I need to check all that. But yeah, these are actually from a three pack from the Wild Styles release. So, what I came up with was this principle that I found from, I really should have wrote these down. My brain is going like completely blank. I'll put a little box or a tab or something somewhere up there so that you will see the name and I'll also link it below. It was size for classic. It starts at 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., which is perfect. I printed on 32 pound paper and I promise you the paper feels just like a happy planner page. It's no bleeding through when I write or anything like that. I tested it out on other stuff. And yeah, it's just really good. I'm Again, I was okay with it, but I don't need this and I don't need all that stuff. This is like the best layout for me. So I was really happy that I found it because get what I want and not have to use that other company it is undated so yes you will be having to put dates and stuff like that it does come with this is how it originally looks they all come with this border and this strip as you can see I just put washi and that's actually just a strip of paper I put over the bottom um what else was I gonna say about it is she does offer it in color and it does come in the big happy planner size so you can get what you need so going forward i won't be using this one anymore so i went ahead and pulled my stargazer over here because i was using my classic stargazer as meal planning and just tracking my production for work in the week so this is a bit more neutral and I really like that because the months from this planner all have these flowers and very bright colors in every corner and then it has that shaded weekend and I don't like that. This is just no color to the weekend. I can work with these little bits. This is just way better for me. and then I will have that. So that is my catch-all, my main catch-all for the weeks. Then we go into my budget section. Now my budget section, and this is from that same pack. My budget section is a revamp as well because I was using a deluxe monthly from the other company for my budget planner. 
and that went out the window along with that company. So here is my solution for that. I keep this pocket is from the Wild Styled Accessory Pack. I really love that line. I just really couldn't do the 18 month planner. This I use to keep any paper bills that I get or notices as far as like my truck sticker is about to expire or something like that. Pop it in there and I have it. So for my budget planner, it's another principle from Little Miss Fancy Plans at home with Krita. Whatever you guys know her as and it'll be linked below. I did her budget and expenses workbook again pale, ugh, printed on the same 32 pound paper and it's really great. I only decorate the cover and my monthly section. Everything else is functional. I did try it out for July and I loved it. So I went ahead and printed for the rest of the year and I also prepped the month as far as dating i still have to decorate and all that stuff but that's what i decided to do so monthly for august is prepped i still have to get other bills to pop in the numbers we are doing the six week challenge because we're saving for a puppy still unclear of what type because the children are debating and evidently what i say doesn't matter so we'll see how that goes so well, that's my monthly and then i love that how everything is just broken down and ready i didn't mind having to use you know budget sticker packs and put them together i actually used to get my budget sticker kits from shea budgets and i love them it's just not using that other company's planner anymore i didn't really have a use for them anymore and then I found at Kita, at Home Aquitas, and it's great. Um, I always put the description in black. My budget amount is always in blue, and the actual amount is always going to be in red. And what is that? Oh no, I don't know. But that's how that goes. Your main bills, my paycheck. I haven't filled those in yet my cash envelopes my sinking funds i always put a cap on as far as the limit to how much will go in each envelope for certain things especially sinking funds because although you know with everything shut down it's like what could you really save for as far as where you're going you can still save for it have it sitting there and you know it's cool holidays home purchase things like that then your debt savings and all of these come if you do the entire workbook you will get all of this and then this part is the breakdown of the cash envelopes and what bills amount of bills are in there then you get your expense tracker you one two three yeah three some may think three pages of expense trackers might not be enough because if you're purchasing this but, but I figure if I'm spending more so much that I need more than three pages of expense expense trackers see I told y'all y'all gonna get all the bloopers more than three pages of expense trackers then I'm spending too much because I mean look at all those lines you have three what are you buying I should not go over three pages of expense trackers. Then you have your weekly summary, monthly summary, and that is that. And then like I said, I went ahead and prepped for my months as far as dating them, but I haven't actually, you know, put bills and paydays and things like that on them. And after that is just this section that's like my little extras this is actually from the notebook that i got the cover off of and i'm actually a little bit oh here it is this is supposed to be back here because when i find out dates and things i write them on here pop them on the month 
and then the rest of this is just extra paper that I like to have so that is it lovelies my catch-all planner my journaling planner and my mini on the go with all my little sections and things like that and that is my planner stack for the remainder of the year I'm hoping I'm really hoping that happy planner comes out with an hourly that starts from six and goes to ten without that box at the top I actually wrote an email to them about it so I hope they take the idea because if I have to I'll just keep printing it but I really would like to have that already set up and ready to go so yeah that is it again please be sure to like subscribe share and hit the notification bell and look forward to more videos thanks for watching lovelies